Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing a new sunspot trying to make a run. We're looking at storms, quakes, the top news articles, and more. But we'll begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're checking out the last day on our star. You won't see any eruptions, but a dark coronal hole is coming in, along with thinner plasma filaments to the north of it. Embedded just behind them is a new sunspot group directly facing the heliocentric Mercury-Mars conjunction. It appears moderately complex at the moment and is just getting the solar flaring up slightly from the flat line. Solar wind. Focus on the yellow as we're now coming out of the coronal hole stream and Earth's magnetic field responding quite nicely and calm this morning. Next stream is coming out of this coronal hole facing Earth today. While the past 24 hours haven't seen larger rumbles, you might remember we had to toss Japan up under the watch due to OLR and Earth spots yesterday. It wasn't a killer, but it was easily the largest quake of the last day, right on the latest typhoon storm track. And speaking of storm tracks, folks, this is looking worse and worse every time they update it. The system is going to save its strength and dance into the gulf before exploding in power in just about two to four days. Tracks inch towards Louisiana every day. Top articles today include this out of the ESA. Rosetta saw an outburst from 67P earlier this year that may have been triggered by a landslide. Gotta love high-energy space phenomena. We're also just one day from the Juno flyby at Jupiter. Orbital insertions are over, and the science instruments get turned back on tomorrow. Should be getting great images like we've never seen before. Then this, folks. This is from a paper on the sun and clouds. We've got some high points and a little cringe as well. First, this paper cites that the sun has a major role to play in cloud cover, and because of that, its role in climate change over decades to centuries has almost certainly been underestimated. However, website members, refresh yourself with Deeper Look 58, where we mentioned that almost nobody gets the sun's effect on clouds exactly right. Here they came close, very close. In fact, their chart is more accurate than their conclusions. They focus five to eight days after a CME impacts Earth, and they highlight the drop in vapor and clouds. But that is due to the atmospheric compression sort of wringing out the layers, so to speak. And in the immediate moments of the impact, there is a much larger spike in relativistic electrons and energetic solar particles than there is a decrease in cosmic rays. And you see the spike on impact day right on their charts. It is tough to analyze these things. That was Deeper Look 58 from this year on the topic of space weather and clouds. We're now up to 65 and counting. Got a world of weather on the wind map and shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.